Hello there, Facebook Friday people. And everybody who logs in on Saturday and Sunday, Monday, and all those other days, if you're like me, and you get to it afterwards. So, happy 2018. Um, this year is a two year, if you add the two, plus the one, plus the eight, you get 11, which is a master number. And then you reduce that to the two, which is the two number. So a little numerology going on here. Um, it's a pretty exciting one, at least for myself, because I love manifestation. And um, the two often, two year often brings that with a lot of change and understanding and growth and all of that. It lines up with like where you, like what's your year number. You would take your um, month of birth, your date of birth, and then add 2018 to it. And that will give you what year you're in as far as um, just another tool, right? As many as we can have in our box is pretty cool. Um, I am in my new office. And what I thought I'd do, I have very little time between people today, but um, that's the crunch of the first of the year. And exciting with all the people wanting to come in and get the coaching started. So you show up where the business is and I'm very grateful to show you my business. So what I'd like to do, I'm gonna walk around the offices. It's not completely there yet, but you know what, it's pretty cool. So uh, let me get over to the main door. So as you come in, hopefully there's no one in the hallway because they don't know I'm doing this. <laughs> but as you come in, at least for me, you will come in the main door. And then you will see, you won't see this stuff over here eventually, but you will see that this is going to be our waiting area. And you'll recognize the chairs once it's all set up. New, I think carpeting going in here. So then as you come around the corner and you can absolutely just have a seat here when there's chairs and I will come get you. So don't get dizzy as I'm moving this. And then my office is right here. The bathroom's around the corner, but I don't think you really need a tour of that. So recognize the chairs, anyone? Um, so this is obviously the individual or the couple setting and um, my roly roly chair. And then look at all this light that's coming in. This is part of the reason I chose it is to be surrounded by some light so I can do some more writing and content creation in that spot right there. And yes, I did build that desk and I only swore once. I'm pretty proud of myself. Well, I didn't build it, I put it together. Somebody else built it for me and it came in about 105 pieces. So if nothing else, I have a future in, in uh, furniture assembly because that is three quarters of a bench being built, a uh, storage bench, but also so you can put your little buns on it in class. So another great window leading out, uh, set up my altar. If you guys haven't done your own altar for the year, it's a good time to do it and to reassess what you would like on it. Most of what's on here has been given to me as a gift, yeah, except the book I wrote. Um, but that's also was a gift from working with all you lovely people. And then you circle around and that's the door I went out. And if I'm not in session, that door will probably be open and you can just come in that way. You don't have to go through the waiting area. And then that's not staying, but just pretend you didn't see the garbage behind the thing right here. And then the clock and then we're back to the door. So I thought I'd give you a little tour of the space if you um, have been curious. I know I've been posting that it's moving day, it's moving day, we're moving. Um, and then it's in process like any other home you move into. You have to figure out where everything's going. So. I wanted to check in and definitely follow up on uh, the end of the year and then set the new year off in a uh, forward moving direction. You can do that any day, but there is a certain energy to the beginning of the year that, thank you, Judy, I love it, um, 
that can help catapult us forward, right? When we need that uh, inspiration to maybe make those changes that have been rolling around in the head for so long and to step into action. Uh, the newsletter that went out today is gonna back that up too. So I do hope that you are having a great start to the first of the year. A little chilly here in the Berkshires, but it is January. So keep grounded. Um, and actually, let me say a little bit about that. Right now, the energy is, uh, it's transitioning. It's moving into what will be a calmer energy. And I, <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you, but uh, I could use some um, influence of the universe in that way and just to infuse some natural positive energy and that's what this year feels like to me. I usually do an energy alert so I'll go into more detail about that in the next blog for what is up in the universe for 2018 and how you can harness that energy and have it have it work for you. So uh, the preliminary, I'll give you a little heads up to the blog, that the energy is very exciting. It's definitely could be perceived as maybe a little bit of anxiousness if you aren't used to looking at things from an excited, adventuresome, uh, want to jump in and do it place. So if you are experiencing that um, feeling within you that kind of jumpy don't really know what to do um, this is the best part we get so much sunlight here um, try to check in and ask yourself am I is this anxiousness is this anxiety is this excitement because I promise you this year is bringing that so it could be misconstrued if your practice is and your background has been to have a more anxious state so take some deep breaths ask yourself what am I really excited about and then start setting some plans into motion and how you're going to use that energy don't waste it if it's being created and you're feeling it you may as well put it to some use sitting there and and stewing over things that may not even be in your um influence or your control just doesn't make any sense. It's a waste of energy and time. So, but I do want you to be able to differentiate and start to ask yourself, what could I be excited about this year? Um, the, it'll shift over the next couple of months, a little calmer once we hit March, but for the next couple of months, um, take advantage of the upswing in energy. There's going to be a lot of clarity happening um, all across our world. It's not only affecting those of us in the United States, it's across the world. So keep your intentions, keep your thoughts, and definitely keep in mind where you are using your words. If you are talking and you are um, coming from a place of fear, then unless there is a saber-toothed tiger chasing you, zip thy lips and check in and see where did that fear start. And then work with somebody, get shift it. If you're in a dark alley, get the hell out. But, um, you know, otherwise, don't let it take over when it could be this amazing manifesting tool in this year of two where that starts to show up. Everything that you've been working for or putting some intention behind for the last 13 years is starting <laughs> to show up in front of you. Don't you want to be there to receive it? I know I do. I plan on it being like UPS where they just drop it off. I don't even have to sign for it. So take this weekend, if you're in the house <laughs> or if you're brave enough to be all bundled up and be outside and and going for that um, walk. Boy, the wind is pretty big here. It sounded like somebody was coming in. Um, ask yourself, what is it that you would like the next few months to be about? And how can you harness that 
excitement? How can you have it be used for your benefit? And sit down and, and write a list out of everything that you possibly could want to create in this next quarter, we'll say. Um, and then there's a vision board class in February 10th, I believe, that we will be uh, Hi. creating this. Hi, <laughs> due to Facebook Live, um, <laughs> that we will be putting all of this into action. So uh, go to the website, sign up, um, send me an email, and, and get in on that. So have to go to work now. Thank you for stopping in for Facebook Friday, and I will see all of you. Stay warm or cool if you're in Australia. Bye.